What's up, everybody? Welcome to Gump Nation with your boy, Kangaroo Black. Well, here at Gump Nation, there's always something to talk about when it comes to my Alabama Crimson Tide. And what we're going to talk about today is wide receiver coach Jamarcus Shepard and his comments about his wide receiver room. Basically, two wide receivers, uh, Ryan Williams and Jeremy Bernard. But first, let me say, I think we got a great wide receiver coach in Jamarcus Shepard. A wide receiver coach who produced two 1,000-yard receivers last season, and he produced 1,000-yard receivers in both his seasons at uh, the University of Washington on the coach, Kalen DeBoer. But let's go ahead and get into his comments and what he said about the mentality of Ryan Williams. He says, Ryan Williams, he's an elite as he's as elite of a human being at this point as he is a football player. He's somebody that immediately we gravitated towards each other. We felt each other's energy, knew we could work well together. He's a sponge. He's dialed in, focused. He wants more. He wants to be coached at a high level. He's not a prima donna that's going to be frustrated because I'm coaching him tough. He can take tough coaching. It's really rare for a kid who just turned 17 years old. So let's break that down. He's, he's an elite of a human being at this point as he is a football player. Well, he got to be a great human being because he is a great football player. Elite. Matter of fact, beyond elite. If you just look at what he's did in high school. Two-time Mr. Football for the state of Alabama. That is crazy. For going, for going his uh, senior season in high school. All right? So, if he's that kind of receiver, I mean, this guy scored, what, about 50, 60 touchdowns in one season? It is, that is crazy. That is crazy. As a receiver, he don't, he, I mean, he got touchdown receiving, uh, uh, kick returns, punt returns. If any way you can get a touchdown, he didn't got it offensively. I'll say that. So, hey, I mean, this guy is a great wide receiver, and he's going to do great things at the University of Alabama. He's somebody that immediately we gravitated towards each other. We felt each other's energy. We knew well, well we could work well together. So it's a good start for Ryan Williams at the University of Alabama on the coach, uh, Jamarcus uh, Shepard, especially when you gravitate to each other. I mean, it's like a, it, it just may be like a match made in heaven. But we'll see. That remains to be seen. Uh, Ryan Williams, he haven't made it on campus yet. He'll get there in the summer, and he'll be practicing in the fall. So, and we know at the University of Alabama, every time we get somebody, somebody to come in late or come in uh, in the summer, fall practice, they always have an impact, uh, you know, on the team. I'll just say that more often than not. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm really happy for this young man, 17 years old, uh, probably the youngest guy in, in, that I know of that would be done in the uh, crimson and white. So I don't know anybody else that uh, was 17 years old once the regular season started for the University of Alabama. So this just might be a first. I could be wrong though. But anyway, uh, Shepard, this is what he also said about Williams, uh, Ryan Williams. His skill set will allow him to see the field early in his Alabama career. Uh, Williams' ability to absorb what he and the rest of the Crimson Tide coaching staff tells him makes him that much more capable of being a high impact player this season. Like he said, he is a sponge and he already got the skill set, you know, so to make him or make these coaches want to play him early. And he'll probably have an early impact for my Alabama. Crimson Tide. I'm not saying he's going to be a starter, but I'm sure that he will get ample amount of playing time. So he might even impact a couple of games as a freshman. 
So that's the kind of skill set that this man has. Okay. Um, once again, he's not a prima donna. We don't need none of those. None of those. No more Ajay Halls. Everybody know if you're an Alabama fan, you know how it went down with Ajay Hall and, you know, Nick Saban suspending him and brought him back and then kicked him off the team. He went to Texas, got in trouble. They brought him back. Then he got kicked off of Texas. I mean, I, I, he might have played in two games for Texas. So I don't, I don't know what's, what have happened to Ajay Hall in his uh, football playing days. I don't know. But anyway, we don't need no prima donnas. And uh, Ryan Williams, he's not a prima donna. Uh, like he can take hard coaching. He had to to become what he's became so far on the football field. So we are proud uh, to have this guy. We are proud. Um, so that's what he had to say about uh, about Ryan Williams. So we're gonna move into what he had to say about uh, Jeremy Bernard. And when he's talking about Jeremy Bernard, he's talking about, also talking about a taker's mentality. All right. Uh, he says uh, there's a lot of folks across the country. When you look at uh, football and receivers, you think that receivers are soft. But this is not the case with Jeremy Bernard. Uh, he says that uh, Jeremy Bernard, he's hard-nosed. He's hard knows and uh he showed a, a little bit of that at washington but anyway uh talking about uh jamarcus shepherd his approach a physical approach uh it was developed when he was a receiver so he's bringing that to alabama he took it to washington that's why he had thousand yard receivers each year um uh, so hey it is what it is baby jamarcus shepherd like i told you we got a good one uh talking about being a taker what is a taker being a taker is aggressive it's an aggressive way it's an aggressive lifestyle it's how you go after the football it's, it's how you go after blocks it's how you conduct yourself every single day on the football field that's what he described a taker is being a taker is much more descriptive of how I want these guys to be. It's how Jamarcus Shepard want these guys to be. Hell, that's how every uh, wide receiver coach should want their guys to be. Uh, being aggressive on the football field, not only when you're receiving the ball, but when you're blocking also when the ball is not coming to you. You see a lot of receivers act like they're scared to block. You see a lot of receivers, uh, you know, Ball getting intercepted, they scared to tackle. But not this guy, as far as what uh, Jamarcus Shepard uh, is saying. But anyway, uh, he says uh, about, uh, about uh, Jeremy Bernard. Jeremy is a pure receiver. He's somebody that understands receiver play to a high level. He know how to, he know how to get to his right location. He understands how to gain leverage on defenders and win. Uh, in those particular moments based on the leverage and and that he wants based on the leverage that he wants to create so yeah uh, let's read that again he understands how to uh, gain leverage on defenders and win in those particular moments based on the leverage that he wants to create okay so pure wide receiver uh, that's what we need you know who was a pure wide receiver mm, Devontae Smith but anyway, you know who was a pure wide receiver? Uh, Jamison Williams. Mm, Amari Cooper. But yeah, those are some great names to be associated with. But anyway, uh, can't leave out Jalen Waller and all those guys. But uh, wide receiver, you, that's what Alabama is. But anyway, uh, he's a pure wide receiver. Got great hands. Uh, he knows his route location. He know how to get to his route. He know how to gain leverage on the, uh, on the defender. Got all great attributes of a wide receiver. Um, got a, he knows how to create space. All the attributes of a wide receiver. You know, uh, these past couple of years we have been having trouble at the wide receiver club. We hit. We haven't had the kind of production that we was used to since Devontae Smith and Jalen Waller and all the greats 
uh, Calvin Ridley and Jerry Judy and Henry Rose and all the great Alabama uh, wide receivers. But anyway, we may have it this year. Especially, I think, especially being that I think we got the right wide receiver coach coach in place. But anyway, uh, along with his playmaking ability, uh, Bernard also takes on Shepard hard nosed approach. That six foot one, two hundred and three pound receiver uh, made a name for himself as a blocker during his time at Washington, and it says perhaps a perhaps a bit too much at times. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jamarcus Shepard said. Uh, he 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 said. Uh, mm, mm, mm. You're going to see a tough kid in Jeremy Bernard if you want. Uh, if you watch the film on us at Washington, this kid. I mean, I have plenty of referees. I've had plenty of referees come to me and say, "Hey, you got to watch for." which that's his number. He's going to have to change it. You got to watch for, he's hitting guys too hard. He flipped a couple of guys upside down on the head block and on the perimeter. He brings a mentality, but uh, also just has knowledge. He brings a mentality, but also just his knowledge of just playing the position is going to be extremely helpful within the receiving core. And yes, this guy has, a, has the experience that he can help some of our young receivers so hey we are glad to have this guy especially he coming in with experience but for his blocking hey he get down and dirty with it he's physical he ain't being feeling touchy he's getting in the ass he's putting hands on him he's putting his paws on him and that's what we want to see as long as it don't bring penalties because you know alabama been having issues with penalties past few seasons also but anyway I can't wait. I can't wait to see this wide receiver core. I think we're going to have an explosive offense. When I say explosive, I mean explosive under uh, Jamarcus Shepard and Coach Kalen De DeBoer. All right. Jamarcus Shepard has been in the system for a couple of years. He knows the in and out of it. Okay. So I think we're going to have a great uh, season no matter who the quarterback is. I think these guys are going to uh, develop. Jalen Miro. So for all you Alabama fans, don't be worried. Don't be worried about this staff. Don't be worried about this team. All right. Don't listen to all the outsiders. Don't listen to all the naysayers, the non-believers, the haters. Don't listen to none of them. All of them. They want Alabama to fail so bad because my Alabama Crimson Tide has been tearing off in their ass for so long. They just want Alabama to go away. And they're going to try to paint any negative narrative that they can about this Alabama football team. The 2024 version of the Alabama Crimson Tide. They're going to, they're going to do everything to put a negative light on this coaching staff and on this team. But guess what? They got issues just like we do. All right? They losing coaches. They lost players to the, truck, to the portal. And they're going to lose more. Okay, so don't worry about them. They need to worry about what they got on, got going on, instead of worrying about what's going on in Tuscaloosa. All right, I know, I know we the we the talk of the town. We the H Boom Coon. We we the we the uh, 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 pedigree of college football. That's what we are. We we at the top of the food chain, and they want to bring us down. But don't don't let them get to you. Don't 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 fall into the hype of non-believers, naysayers, and haters. Cause guess what? We support only the best team in all of college football history. That's what we do, and that's our Alabama Crimson Tide. So keep the faith. Keep the faith, cause Coach Kalen DeBoer and his coaching staff and these the 2024 version of the Alabama Crimson Tide going to have they foot on a lot of team necks. You're going to believe that. Roll damn time.